All right, man. Jamil, Jamil here. Shout out to him, man. Good friend of the show. Um, he brought up an interesting point last night on Twitter while I was going live. I came across his tweet. Um, you know, I came across his tweet, and he made an interesting fact. And I said this story, uh, I think, last week. And I'm going to tell the story again about, you know, kind of when I seen the Canelo, excuse me, um, the Canelo issue change with uh, – Oscar De La Hoya, and we had something similar last night happen, okay? Um, so Jamil Heron pointed out on Twitter at the uh, final press conference that Oscar De La Hoya um, was uh, – Oscar De La Hoya was not at the post-fight press conference with Ryan Garcia or um, Bernard Hopkins wasn't there as well too. So, I mean, and I agree, man. Be there with your fighter, man. And I know it's hard for them to sit there and take losses to Al Heyman. And every time Al Heyman make a fight with them moving forward, Al Heyman know he got the better hand. Every time Al Heyman know he has the better hand. Al Heyman know he going to beat him. If it was Joseph Diaz, if it was this fight, um, if it was the, you know, there's probably a couple more out there, but he knows he got the upper hand. And Jamil here says, Oscar, get out of it. get out there with your fighter and show love. At least say a few words. He went out and represented your brand. Come on. He put Eric Gomez out here. And it's why a lot of people don't really mess with Oscar De La Hoya in the business world. You hear Jamil uh, Charlo saying that, uh, you know, they promised him the, uh, the Canelo fight in Houston. And they changed it to James Kirkland. And he, he wrote his own release from Golden Boy and they granted it to him. Wasn't that Al made him leave? Here, you know, Deontay Wilder and a few other fighters, you know, that was over there and say Oscar De La Hoya didn't do nothing or, you know, didn't really contribute the way he did. This is Ron Garcia is up there. I think that's his advisor, Lupe Valencia's father. And Eric Gomez is up there. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins should have been there. You know, instead of running for the fences and instead of getting the hell up out of there or whatever, they should have been there supporting him. And they, and, and they wasn't. And it wasn't. You know, and this happened with Canelo Alvarez and Oscar and his cronies at Ring TV, his employees, the own Ring TV, Ring Magazine, was going around saying Canelo is going to be Floyd Mayweather. It's a young man's game. And come fight night, Oscar De La Hoya wasn't there ringside to support Canelo Alvarez in the biggest fight of his career. And Canelo Alvarez ain't like that. And that's kind of where that beef kind of started from. That's kind of where that beef started from. And once again, you know, Ryan Garcia take the loss and then you're not out there to support him. You know, you're not out there to support him. And, you know, had he won, you know, Oscar De La Hoya probably would have been running the damn press conference. And I know it hurt for them to lose another fighter to – to lose another fight to Al Heyman. He took all your fighters, and then he and Floyd beat all your fighters, and now all your fighters getting beat every time y'all link up. But you knew it. You hear Bernard saying, I never would have signed that contract. You've seen all these different people saying saying this and saying that, but, you know, it's what Ryan Garcia wanted to do. They made it happen. And, um, you know, if y'all the team and you re he represents your brand, he got to, you know, he got to, he got to, he got to, you know, he got to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all came to the party together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all lead y'all lead a party together. It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? You know, we rolled in here together. We're gonna roll out of here together. You know what I'm saying? But this is why people don't like mental boxer as a businessman, or at least. You know, in this aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so, you know, overall, um, you know, this your brand, and it's the people use at all the other press conferences. You know what I'm saying? He was all the way, all the way there, and it sounded like he just a sore loser. That's what it sounded like to me. 
Sound like he's a sore loser. I know I heard. You know, somebody took all your fighters, and then every time y'all link up and make a fight, he beat you. He only making fights that he know he can win. Real talk, he only making fights that he know he can win. But, you know, Oscar De La Hoya got to continue to be a bit, got to be a professional. Because had Ryan Garcia won, he'd have been up there all hyped and yelling and screaming and all that type of stuff. And that's why Canelo lost respect for him. And, you know, Leonard Ellaby said, we took your, took your fighters from you because you were asleep at the wheel. He was. You know, that night he missed the Canelo fight after being there somewhere in the first week. He, you know, he he re, he enlisted into rehab. You know, and, you know, while he was sleeping at the wheel and dealing with his demons, which we all got our demons, you know, while he was dealing with his demons and shit. Um, you know, Richard Schaefer allegedly, Al Hammond allegedly finessed him out of his whole company. They tried to buy it. I think for a hundred million dollars, they tried to buy Golden Boy. I think that was the ticket, something like that. I think it was a hundred million. And Oscar won selling. They, you know, strip Oscar and Oscar, uh, you know, and Oscar went to court and, um, Got some of his fighters back. But it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. So, um, but, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, man, this ain't no good look. You know, and it's hard It's hard to say, man. You got to take your L's like you take your It's hard to do. You got to take your L's, your wins, like you take your losses. And that shit hurt. It's hard. We kind of, you know, you gotta, gotta, under, you gotta know what it is to, to, to lose. Sound crazy? Sound crazy? You gotta know what it is like to lose. You gotta learn how to take a loss and all that. And he a sour loser. Probably hit the side door and got the fuck up out of it after all the shit they talked and all this. But we knew this was inevitable. He didn't think he was going to win under them circumstances. You know what I'm saying? He didn't think he was going to win. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. You know, you can't, you can't just always bet on an underdog and expect to be successful. You know? They want to make big fights and, and all that. We want to see them. We want to see them. You know? But in reality, um, you know, in reality, um, it is what it is. But in reality, it's can't win them all. But just as Ryan had to sit up there and show courage and, and take his loss like a man, Oscar De La Hoya should have got up there and took his and, and took an A Crow, spoke, been humble, and Bernard Hopkins should have been up there. You know, see, they with you when you up. They they with you, you know, when everything going good, but everything go bad. Ain't nobody with you no more. You know, so, um, but it is what it is. Um, but, um, you know, you left somebody high and dry. I won't be mad if Oscar Dello, uh, Ryan Garcia wanted to, uh, We'll be mad if Ryan Garcia wanted a release. He should. Because he was more man than two Hall of Famers and go out there and eat his crow. You know what I'm saying? He talked this shit and then he sat there after the press conference and ate crow. 
And they sent Eric Gomez out there with him. Uh, you know, Delahoya, best friend of oh, Delahoya, you should have been sitting out there with him. You should have been out there guiding this kid who got knocked out. You supposed to be the mentor. You supposed to be the promoter. You got to promote when it's good and when it's bad. And on the rules to the game. But, you know, you wonder why people don't like Oscar. You know, people don't like him as a businessman or whatever the situation may be. Here you go. In one picture. So, and maybe he had an excuse. I doubt it was a valid one. But, hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link so you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all. Check out the Box News playlist. Peace.